it's it's hard to speak, uh, but uh, 80 years ago, uh, representatives of nine countries met, nine nations met in London to set up a legal framework for persecution of for prosecution of war criminals during the Second World War. And we all know that led to the establishment of a precedent in international law that uh, basically defined the future development of uh, international criminal law. Now, eight, year ago, eight years ago, Russia launched an aggression against Ukraine, occupying Crimea, uh, some parts of our territory in eastern Ukraine. And eight days ago, eight full days ago, Russia, in a barbar in a rather barbarian way, launched another wave of aggression against Ukraine. It's a full-fledged aggression, masks off. Uh, and uh, the question is now how the international community will handle it. We welcome the initiative of the International Criminal Court to investigate um, crimes which fall in its jurisdiction, namely war crimes and crimes against humanity. The prosecutor of International Criminal Court has also demonstrated leadership in this in this effort, and uh, Ukraine will cooperate fully with ICC while not being a full uh, full uh, party to to the conflict to to the Rome Statute, but we recognize jurisdiction uh, on uh, crimes on war crimes and crimes against humanity since 2014. And so the moment I learned about the initiative to set up uh, a tribunal, a multinational tribunal to investigate the crime of aggression against Ukraine, I immediately said yes. And this yes comes from me not only as a person, but also as a representative of the government of Ukraine. We appreciate the initiative. We are looking, we are looking forward to working actively on it and also to engage with those countries who are willing to uh, to take part in this in this important undertaking the this in, the aim of this initiative is not to replace uh international criminal court or any other uh jurisdictional bodies but to fill the gap that exists in international law and to use the experience uh, of international community and international law uh, for the benefit of the people and of the world order based on international law. When bombs fall on your cities, when uh, soldiers rape uh, women in the occupied cities, and we have numerous cases, of, unfortunately, when Russian soldiers rape uh, women in, in the Ukrainian cities, it's difficult, of course, to speak about the efficiency of the international law. But uh, this is the only tool of, civiliza of civilization that is available to us to make sure that in the end, eventually, all those who made this war possible will be brought to justice. And the uh, Russian Federation, as a country that committed an act of aggression, will also be held accountable for its deeds. I therefore, I ther we, we are using all tools available, including ICJ. You may have heard about our application uh, on the Convention on Genocide, the European Court of Human Rights, uh, our uh, application to ICC, and I appreciate the referral of the case by 39 countries who are ready to support uh, Ukraine in this. But really, we need to, to fill the gap uh, on the crime of aggression. And therefore, I would like to support the declaration and the statement calling for the setup of the special tribunal for the punishment of the crime of aggression against Ukraine. The recent UN General Assembly resolution named Aggression Against Ukraine is, uh, uh, was supported by 141 uh, countries which is unprecedented in itself, and it gives us the political ground to uh, to move forward with this initiative. So, so on behalf of the government of Ukraine, once again, uh, we are ready to move on. 
We are ready to uh, work with anyone who is willing to bring Russia to an account. And I call on all of you uh, who participate in this, me in, in this meeting to contribute to the establishment of this tribunal. And I also call on all media who follow this, uh, who follow this online meeting to spread the truth about Russia's crimes against Ukraine and to advocate the establishment of this of such a tribunal. Thank you very much. I will have to switch off and continue my my travel, but uh, I appreciate that all of you stand by Ukraine. We are fighting against the enemy who is much stronger than us, but the international law is on our side and hopefully it will help us. Uh, it will make its own contribution to help us prevail. Thank you.